it's a striker versus a goalkeeper from just 12 yards. But the Carling Cup final proved that penalties are far from easy. Or are they? All I want you to do is score. One sports scientist who's worked with Cristiano Ronaldo believes spot kicks should never be missed and claims to have come up with a biomechanical formula for taking the perfect penalty. Anything above 25 metres per second, approximately sort of 55, 56 miles an hour, put into the four corners, even if the goalkeeper knows where it's going, he's not going to get there. Sky Sports invited former QPR striker Kevin Gallen, scorer of 143 career goals, to the University of Chichester to test the software, which is being trialled at Manchester City's Youth Academy by shooting at hoops placed in the four corners of the goal. What we've got is the football. We've marked it up with a number of different markers, little reflective, very small markers. They don't weigh anything and they're not going to affect how the, the, the ball flies. So high-speed camera is going to pick up the ball and the trajectory and the spin of the ball once, once you've kicked it. Okay. S simple as that. Yep. Gallon was told to nominate a corner for his kicks and when placed well enough, the keeper couldn't save them. Dr Hurrian hopes to persuade the FA to use his technology in the build-up to this summer's Euro 2012, but is there really such a thing as the unsavable penalty? If you hit enough pace and power on the ball and you hit it into the top corner, I don't think any keeper in the world will save it. Even when I knew where the ball was going, um, it made it harder for me to save because of the amount of, sort of time and effort they're concentrating on putting that ball in that certain spot. Um, and to be honest, a lot of them were actually unsavable. Critics say mastering the perfect penalty in training is one thing, but replicating the action under pressure from the crowd is a different challenge entirely. Of course, practice makes perfect, but remember, no pain, no gain. Aidan McGee, Sky Sports.